All right, we're back. We are back for the final best of three. It is going to be DeWalt versus Eon Zerg. The coach versus the kid. Actually, nobody calls him the kid, but he's like really young. He seriously looks like he's 12. Like he was streaming, you know, a few weeks ago with his camera and he looks like a little baby. He actually looks a little bit like Justin Bieber, I'm not gonna lie. In a good way though, in a good way. If, if there isn't, is there even a good way to, to, to take that? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, I take it back. Whatever. Anyway, it's gonna be a final best of three. Same maps, same matchup. With five PVZs today. Mmm, lots of PVZ goodness. So, uh, yeah, let's go straight into it. Alright, top right, White Zerg, Innovation, but not, not the SC2 Innovation, he is Eon Zerg. I wonder if he named himself after him though. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, Bogus from STX Soul renamed himself Innovation and started like owning it up in SC2, or something. Anyway, uh, Dwalt, over here at the bottom right. Now, he successfully uh, took out Eon Zerg in the first set of the group on this map with a crazy mass speedlot Archon attack. Uh, and we'll see if Eonzerg is going to adjust his play to match that. Of course, we already saw in his uh, winning Cloud game against Wands, he did something drastically different from what he did against Walt. So he definitely has more than uh, just that one build up his sleeve. So, let's see. Uh-oh, Nightbull. Nine pool alert! Oh my god, if DeWalt. Oh, DeWalt's not blind 12 next. You see, DeWalt blind 12 next against Eonzer. So Eonzer's not pooling, but DeWalt is one basing. He's one basing! What? What is he gonna do? It's not Outsider. It'd be funny if he just did the four gate all in again, but I don't think it'll work on this map. Um, because it's, it's more obvious that you're not fast expanding, considering there's no back expansion. Now, fortunately for DeWalt, he's going to scout in the correct direction first, or, or at least I assume so. Yeah, he is. So he's going to see what's coming. Now, is he going 2-gate, or is he getting a gas? He's getting a gas. Good. Um, so he's going to have to block his ramp with a Zealot and, like, 3 probes or something against the initial 6 links. 2 probes is okay, but sometimes if they focus it down and they run past, you can be in a bit of trouble. Just got to be a little bit careful. Anyway, he sees the nine pool now, so he knows what's going on. Zelt. Boom. And we got six lings on the way, as you can see. Oh, he actually really wants a drone kill. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. They're stacked, so he doesn't know which one to target. And what do we have? First Zealot should be out in plenty of time. The second Zealot will be close, but I don't think it'll be in time to block the ramp. So people will need to pull a couple of probes. And now Eonzerg sees that DeWalt has gone for a 1 base. So let's see what his reaction is. Probably will get the third hatchery at his natural. And maybe... I mean, what did he do against uh, Wands's 1 base? I think he went for a Hydroden, right? Like a slightly slow Hydroden after 3 hatches. Not slow, but... Anyway. Oh wait, what the shit? What happened over here? Man, it's like the Wands game all over again, bro. Dude. Man, Kronos says, why don't you block your ramps with two probes? I mean, is, is it really that bad to have two probes blocking the ramp? Is that really that painful for you? Would you rather lose like five probes to the Zerglings? Man, what is up with this? What is this shit? I don't understand. I mean, come on, DeWalt. Come on, you know better. Nice probe to pull there. There's another probe in the main dive. Oh man. Alright, so we got a goo now, so that's gonna take care of some things. Hmm. Hmm. 
That's... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey! We've got a Robo! Oh man, he's gonna do the Wands build. He's doing the Wands build. Okay, it's not really the Wands build. Wands open completely differently. But he's going for the Zealot Reaver combo. Oh man, this is awesome. This is an... Oh! I suddenly remember the name of the Korean player that used to do this all the time. It was BD Heaven. This is actually the BD Heaven build, because BD Heaven did this off one gateway, like going one base tech. This is actually the BD Heaven build, and I love it. It's so funny, because it seems completely ridiculous, and yet it's like ridiculously powerful as well. Just mass slow lot plus Reaver. So good. Alright, alright, here we go. A few Zels, or sorry, a few Zerians trying to poke up. I don't think they got high enough to get vision on the Robo. And even if they did, like, I don't know what the best response is, because by the time that hits, you only have, like, you know, slow, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. oh no, he's gonna see it! Oh! He got it! He got it! There's an overlord there, but it's not going in. Wow, that was close. Damn! If he saw, if he saw this coming, that would have been just game over for Dewalt. But I don't understand why he's, like, putting pressure on with these elves. Because all he's doing is forcing Eonzer to make units, which will eventually help stop the all-in that's coming, so I don't know why you would do this. It's like, you actually want him to build as few units as possible and build as many drones as possible, so that when you attack he doesn't have anything and you can just win. So I don't, so like, the point, I don't understand the point of harassing before doing an all-in, it's just like, completely counter-logical. That, that's not a word, is it? Illogical? I don't want to say illogical though, because I actually mean counter-logical. It's so unlogical that it's it's counter logical. It's not even illogical. Man, that was a weird sentence. Um, so Dewalt has actually somehow kept all of his units alive and is running away, which is a bit weird. And oh, he's doing it with goons. Actually, it's not the BD Heaven build. Holy balls! He's the only four gate goon with reavers. Okay, he can't support actually all of that production, so he's probably gonna cut after one reaver and just go four gate goon. But this is madness. This is absolute madness. Oh, he sees it though! Yonzark sees it, and the problem is there's no shuttle now. He needs to not let this Reaver die. This Reaver must not perish. Where the hell are these guys going? Where are you going? Come back here! What are you doing? Get back here! <laughs> uh, well, that's weird. Oh, by weird, I mean awesome. Nah. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I guess that didn't last long. But Yanzerg is now just flooding Hydras into the main base. Uh... <laughs> this is a little bit ridiculous. No way! That actually hit! Man, I thought that was a little bit too far. But it was like a direct shot, though. Now, Yanzerg doesn't actually have range yet, so that's making this a little bit less effective. But Dewalt's also kind of confusing his goons. Oh, he's gotta be careful. <laughs> what?! How did that one not die? It's dead now. He could've died on the first shot, really. And Yontark is making more Hydras, but, you know, 4 gate Goon Pump with Reavers. Okay, he's got a second Reaver now. Really shouldn't make anything else from that Robo, so he can afford to make Goons from all four gateways. You can see he's not quite keeping up uh, non-stop production here. And this is essentially going to come down to the Micro. It's all down to the Micro. Oh man, he's going to get caught without the Reaver! Oh my god, he's going to lose all his Goons! He's going to lose... Oh man, he needs to not lose the Goons! Oh no, he's going to lose another one! No, 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 run away, run away, run away. No, 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 You need the Reaver, bro. You need the Reaver. Oh, man, that was actually really bad. Really, really bad. He got an Overlord, but, oh, man, he needs to run. He needs to just keep running all the way to the bottom left. He needs to just go all the way. Oh, man. That is terrible. He needs the weight of numbers. Why is he stopping? He needs to keep going. He needs to pull the Hydras as far away as possible. And now he's going with only three Dragoons. And now I think he lost already because of that. I think he's actually already dead. He doesn't know it yet. But he's already dead. See, the Hydras now are going to block reinforcements, and oh god. Oh god, please drop him. Oh, 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 maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's not dead. There's a lot of Hydras coming in from the back, though. He really needs to keep this alive. He really needs a shuttle to be here and not there. And so he can pick these up. He needs to pick that one up. And then he needs these Scarabs to be like... Amazing. Oh, there's one Reaver, and there's two Reavers. Ah, uh, and they're gone. And he's not reinforcing Goons for some reason. Oh, he re-rallied into his natural. And, okay, so now he's got 
four gate moon pump against three hatch hydro pump. I'm pretty sure the Hodges will win here. I am fairly sure the Hodges will win. So, DeWalt's kind of screwed that one up. That should have gone a lot better than it did. Man, I mean, he just like had all his goons out to kill one Overlord and just lost everything. So he just killed another Overlord there. Um, I mean, he's still got a nice supply lead actually, 50 to 30. But he doesn't. I'm not really sure what he's supposed to do from here. Like, do you expand? Do you just keep going all in? It looks like he's just gonna keep going all in. But is that really gonna work? He's really gotta be careful with these goons, because pure goon against pure Hydra is gonna go to the Hydras every day of the week, even with inferior numbers. But so the so the keep thing here is the Reaver. If he can control this Reaver really well, he could still win this actually. Because Eondark doesn't have an overwhelming number of Hydralisks yet, and he's in fact going for a uh, for a lair rather. So uh, yeah, it looks like DeWalt is just going to go for a second all-in attempt here, and Eondark has prepared a few Hydras to flank attack. Um, oh, actually he's going to go for harass. Needs to probably not do this. I think that's a little bit too risky. He needs to also be very careful when where he's going. He needs to be very careful where he's going. Oh man, he gets one Scarab off, but that is it! That's not enough! There is no way that's enough. He might win this engagement, but I think Eons are with his... Uh oh Wait a minute. Wait a minute! That's a lot of Dragoons! Eons are might not have enough reinforcements here! Oh man, was that enough? GG! Eons are didn't have enough! What? It was barely enough, the one Scarab! The only Scarab that got out was enough to win him the game. Man, the whole time I thought after Eonzerg caught those goons out, I thought for sure, for sure, there's no way he could lose. And just the one Scarab in the middle takes it out. Oh, man.